and if you have children at home who uh, who need to be told that maths is a good part of the world then you need to get them all around the telly now because Marta Jopson demonstrates how equations and a slide rule grounded Hitler's deadliest weapon. In 1944, Nazi inventors pushed the boundaries of warfare to a terrifying new level when they launched the V2. It was the stuff of science fiction, a supersonic rocket of mass destruction that hurtled through the air at four times the speed of sound. The unstoppable missiles carried one-ton warheads and could be fired from mobile launch pads way behind enemy lines. Five minutes later, they brought death and destruction on London. Unlike the V1 doodlebug, which could be shot out of the sky, the V2 flew 50 miles up in the air. That's above the atmosphere, where conventional weapons couldn't touch it. But it did have a weakness, and that was to do with mathematics. Hello, Eileen. Hello. Nice to meet you. During the war, Eileen, young husband, served in Fighter Command's filter room, where aircraft and missiles were tracked by radar. Now, that's stop. That's me. That's you? Yep. So, and how long ago was this? This is 70 years ago now. That's hey? right. Um, tell, tell me about when you first knew something strange was coming in, when the first V2 well, came Well, we in. had been warned that there was going to be another vengeance weapon code word, Big Ben. And the first filterer officer to hear this word must get on a chair and yell it out three times. And guess who it was? It was me. And it was that terrible time when the very first V2 landed on Chiswick. It killed three people and a lot of fear generated. Hitler had developed something truly terrifying. After D-Day, the Germans trained their V2s on Antwerp, killing more than 800 people. Being impossible to intercept, the only way of stopping them was by destroying their mobile launch pads. Using little more than a slide rule, Eileen had to track them down. The thing about a rocket, because it was a projectile, it went on a predictable path. We knew that a rocket would go in the form of a parabola. Right, so a parabola, here's my rocket, and we shoot the rocket in a parabola like that. So it accelerates up, 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 and then gravity takes over and pulls it back down. Yeah. Once the rocket was launched, it stayed to that certain path. It's a mathematically defined curve. It's symmetrical as well, yeah. and it allows you to do the maths to work yeah, backwards exactly. from that point. From that, we could work out the launch site. Right, Eileen, let's see a parabola in action. We've got a, a model rocket here, so it's not quite a V2. Three, two, one. Wow, fantastic. Gosh, that's high. In fact, so high that most of the parabola was hidden in the clouds, so you'll just have to take my word for it. Right, so here's our V2 rocket that's landed in the ground. Yep. How did you work out where they were taking off from? Well, we needed another piece of information, which we got from the radar stations, and it would be somewhere on the parabola. And with those two bits of information, we would extrapolate that curve right the way back. OK, so you've got, you've got a point up here. Yep. You've got a point down there. You yep. join them together with a curve. Processing the rocket's height and speed on a parabolic trajectory, Eileen made complex calculations. We have to remember that the rocket went straight up to start with before it entered into this curve. All this was taken in consideration. We would calculate the position right over there of the launch site. And Eileen had just six minutes to make her calculations any longer and the mobile launchers would escape before they could be bombed. So that's quite a ferocious calculation to have to do on a, a slide rule. You must have felt the responsibility of that. Oh, terrific responsibility, because we knew that those rockets were killing people. And finally, by the end of March, we had destroyed all the lorries. Despite killing thousands of people, the V2 failed to change the course of the war. Mathematics helped beat the world's most sophisticated weapon. 